Here's your scenario. Take a moment to look over it. Once you're ready, we'll start. Okay, I'm ready. Name the three main coronary arteries and what their branches are. The three main coronary arteries are the right coronary artery, the left anterior descending, and the left circumflex. Off the left anterior descending, you'll have your diagonal branches, and off the left circumflex, you'll have your obtuse marginal. The posterior circulating artery is supplied by the RCA 70% of the time, the left circumflex 10% of the time, and co-dominant 20% of the time. What preoperative tests would you like to see ordered for this patient? I'd like to see a basic metabolic panel to look at different electrolytes, including potassium, as well as adding on ionized calcium and magnesium level. It'd also be useful to see the creatinine and BUN to see if this patient has any renal dysfunction. And if they have any history of hepatic uh, insufficiency, it'd be useful to see a PTINR. We'd also like to see a CBC to evaluate a baseline hematocrit, as well as platelets. Are there any cardiac-specific tests that you'd like to see? I'd like to see a baseline EKG as well as what the coronary cath study showed to see the severity and the location of the occlusion. If a right heart cath was done, I'd also like to see a pulmonary artery occlusion pressure to see if the left ventricular end diastolic pressure is around 6 to 12. I'd also like to see an echo to see what the baseline uh, ventricular function is in terms of ejection fraction as well as wall thickening.